Ask this question to yourself. If Somalis are homogeneous, same culture, same language, same tradition, same everything, why are we so divided and un so uncompromising, so irreconcilable for the past over two decades? Why? What is the difference? If we have everything same, what is the problem? Another major myth that Somalia is suffering from is a superiority complex. Therefore, in reality, Somalia is a nation that holds together people of different cultures, different customs, different traditions, different language, and different values, different destiny. However, they theoretically share the Islamic religion of Sunni sect. If you want to kill a society, you first take away the language. When you want to kill a culture, you take away from them the language. Then that culture is dead. You know why? Because you are adopting another language and you are always told, no, you are not the master of the language. Stand behind. Imagine when Somali language was being written. They all picked from the nomadic group, those who wrote the language. And look how they underestimated other languages. When they found a word that does not exist in the Somali language, they went to borrow it from Arab language. What about the other languages who exist here? So many young men in my country, in, in Somalia, they have been robbed of their, of their culture. Why do you deny my language? Why do you impose on me your language? I tell you the truth. It may be painful, but it is. Swallow it. By the way, being diverse does not mean we cannot live together. We can. Being diverse does not mean we can't find a modern and flexible system that respects our differences. We can find. We can live together and we can be diverse. There are countries like Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda. They have 50 tribes. They have 50 languages. And they are a nation. They are together.